man. Son of a bitch. Mm. Mm. Come on. What do you mean no data? Oh my god. My internet connection is bad. The string was retrieved. Yes. Oh, screw this. That explains why there is no string remaining. But the culprit then retrieved all the string that kept the corpse in place from outside the door. And with nothing to support it, the top half of the corpse fell back to the floor. Yeah. Just like how it was discovered. Right. Yes. Man, this one was tough. <laughs> and here I thought it was a you know a clock, right? But I forgot about the blood stains. Dude, it's always got a little cocky, I'll admit it. It appears this locked room mystery will finally be solved. I hope so. <laughs> eh? What do we got inside? Oh, it'll just be how it was. No, didn't move at all, actually. Huh? When did that happen? Oh, but now we can set it up. Right. Maybe you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Right, the repeating dialogue a little bit because... You know, I don't know what order you're gonna do this. Master, you know the answer, right? Let's finish this. Yeah, for sure. Right. I mean, I know the doll's responsible, but the actual steps, I mean that that part's gonna be a bit tricky for me. You Let's have give it to all. create the culprit's locked room mystery. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But what is the first step? Okay, I have a string in my hand, right? And I'm currently inside of the room. So Logically, yeah, the first step would be to tie it to the corpse's neck. Maybe you got the order wrong. Mm? Stay calm. First, you need to tie the fishing line down. Find a sturdy spot where it can be easily retrieved later. A sturdy spot. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. Dirty. Then it's the, uh, the doll. It's not the nail, right? What? The doll. What is the sturdy thing. Definitely not a desk lamp. There's nothing else in the room. Yeah, it's exactly the same spot. I guess it just yeah. has to be the doll, yeah? I mean, yeah, I'll try it. Yuma, you have to recreate the locked room to prove you solve the mystery. Sorry, sorry. You already know the answer. All that's left is to retrace the steps. Do I? Okay. Oh, okay. uh, so you have to start with the, the door, I guess. I guess it was the most obvious answer. Yeah, you have to, I guess, have it inside here. Yeah, universe. like the game is kind of miscommunicated. <laughs> After that, the fishing line was drawn away to another location. In terms of sequence, it'd probably be easier to start with things that are fixed in place. Okay. Fixed in place. Yeah, the, the corpse We know now. technically the corpse is not fixed in place, but this doll is not moving. That's it! It passed through a doll's eye! And then the fishing line passed through the eye to somewhere else. The... Corpse? The corpse, yeah. Is that the right path? Now, let's think about this. You have it going in that direction, and then this direction. Is there anything else? I I don't think there's anything else. The, in corpse, the, the corpse, the corpse, the corpse. That way. Does this even truly have five steps? Right. The line was then passed around a certain point on the corpse. That was... The neck. Has to be. Under For the head. Yeah. On the neck. neck. Here, behind the neck. The line ends here to support it. Now, it's clear that the line passed through the vent, the doll's eye, and ended beneath the neck. And now back to the door. Why pull the line through the doll first? Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? Hmm. To support the through the doll first, as it was fixed in place. Because it's a pulley system. Dude, that's so smart. What the? Next, the fishing line. Like, you know, I'm not about to get into science, but like, you need a, you need a, so wait, what did he just say? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. The case. What am I, uh, Shinigami. That was the Great worst, work. I guess, ever. You're getting close to completing the locked room mystery. Yeah, but what was I literally supposed to do? Like, okay. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, uh, he then take it through the door yeah. again. That's, that's another option, right? Now, to return the line to the vent. Ooh. This kept the corp. Oh, I see. So, uh, yeah. It makes sense. I thought that the both of, if yeah, it should be like this. Yeah, that's perfect. It's been completely prepared. So next, they exited. Yeah. 
But then they just had to aim near. Ooh. No, they just slide the, the freaking. Then they and he could have chucked it, I Dude, guess. Isn't the, the, isn't the margin for error there huge? No! If you slid the key on her inside, Maybe they the, were uh, inside the string. Player, and they're really good at throwing things accurately. No. That reminds me of somebody. Can't put my finger on it. Anyway, the gap. The key was thrown through the gap in the vent. Great story. If the culprit managed to oh. drop the key next to the corpse, the only thing left was to untie the lock. And then, it, it's only on the side of the vent, so there'd be no line left. Tie the culprit. Oh, I see. They used a different string, and then they threw the key, but they also had a different string to, uh, Get the key if they failed, I see. So it's actually much better than uh, what I was thinking, which was uh, letting the key slide with the string, inside the string. Mm -hmm. If the culprit managed to oh. drop the key next to the corpse, the only thing left was to untie the line. Yeah, then, and it, it's only on the side of the vent, so there'd be no line left. But how do they... How do they untie? Oh, they won't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow it now. That's so smart. This game rules. Which was supported only by the line would fall face up on top of the key. That's how the culprit created the locked room. That's yes. actually the most satisfying one yet to figure out. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I did rack my brain a bit and then figured it out. That's my master. Oh, shucks. But, uh, but this is the most impressive one. Uh, the, Reveals it really. One doesn't reveal any evidence, so it's actually quite hard. It's nothing. The fourth, the fourth one is is like the hardest Do one. Do it. Just, just the because of the lack of evidence. Like on the wall. Uh, yeah. A trial and error, a lot of error, but you know, uh, some some trials. Yeah. Uh. Uh, it's definitely too. It's also like really practical because. Like, barely any ev evidence is left. Were strange. The length of the nails driven into the upper and lower body were different. The nails on the upper half didn't penetrate all the way through the body. But the nails on the lower half went all the way through and into the floor. That was how the lower half could be secured, while the upper half could still be moved around. That sure was tricky, but you managed to solve the mystery behind it. Nothing to it. I mean, I won't even lie. That was genuinely difficult for me anyways. But yeah, in case when we open this chest, it's just like the megaphone nerd again. We're going to end things here. Thank you all so much for this. Um, yeah, unfortunately, my internet connection is not great. So, uh, raincoat. Yeah, this is the 10th one. Hello everyone and welcome back to Master Detective Archive Raincode. Last episode we solved three of the four locked room mysteries. The last one's pretty easy. Yeah. I can't wish he uh, started Lord. with the first yeah, one, we then one, go, went one, two, three. Because the first and the fourth are pretty the easy, the second and the third are hard. This question in the labyrinth wrong, which you, you'd think like the first mystery of the labyrinth is the easiest. It, is, it does not bode well, but if you're enjoying the series, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, let's check out what this booty is here in this grand hall. Ugh. Looks like we finally made it to the treasure chest. Speaking of, don't you think that whoever worked the hardest should get to open it? Just kick it already. Which is me, of course. It was definitely me. I. Ah, uh, I think it might be. But that's kind of dumb, but. If it's a fishing line, then uh, we need to look at the uh, suspect. Why would this be a key? Oh, suspect oh, right. list. Refute what they're saying and the other ones. This is probably another clue leading to the culprit. Yeah. I'm not sure how we use it. Probably in the deathmatch mini game, if I had to reckon. Still, it must be used for something. Hold on to it for now. Wait. Speaking of holding on, I just thought of something. These these keys are most likely 
to distinguish who, depending on when, the goth, uh, <laughs> trying to use, let's just call her the goth, you know, <laughs> the girl of my dreams. I'm trying to not the say nine. that. Just, anyway, point being. If she had that injury for a long time, like, you know, taking, you know, repairing a bone takes some time. Right. I don't know if she could do the pulley system and keep that body in place for that long. Like, I guess you could, you do all of it. Wait, I forgot an injury. What was that? With your left arm, but yeah, Damn I just it. thought of that. I, and, I uh, didn't play this game for too long. Oh, I guess we're heading back to the last one. Okay. I mean, we don't... What was the... I don't know. Let's solve I, the rest. Yeah, I don't even remember what the last room what? was. Oh, right, the casino. But then, okay, hear me out, right? We have these three locked rooms and then the clock tower, right? Each of these is showing us that based on how this went down, one of the suspects, which technically we have five suspects, could not have committed the crime. If we're ruling out Darkiplier because I don't know who... No, Darkiplier couldn't have uh, entered the cemetery... Uh incinerator i mean the church incinerator i mean who would be that stupid to always show up at the crime scene and we're ruling out the goth girl because she couldn't do the police no i don't know about that one uh what was that injury we need to, and uh, that it also can't be the one gentleman that is uh it can't be the fat one <laughs> because he wouldn't fit and also he was the one who found the rope anyway you know he wants to lose weight because you need to be a slim build to pass through this vent it's starting to look more and more like the priest. I would be genuinely startled if it was like, oh, it was actually all four of them working together. That no, would, no, that'd be it's wild definitely this priest. No. The first locked room happened six months ago in a secret club in Kamasaki District. Wait, hold up. If they all four dropped dead, that would be effing crazy. An old geezer was nailed to the wall in an underground casino. Do you think that's it? If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Like, I know what you're thinking. Like, no, John, because then in the Death Battle Arena thing... The biggest problems with uh, mysteries in real life is that there are no hard evidences that be solvable to run away with murder in real life, unfortunately. <laughs> they pull a Yugi and it... You can all show guesses. <laughs> I guess it'd be a four-headed dragon. Because the carpenter is innocent. Yeah, shut up. Point. Let's get in there. Freaking creeping me out. So aggro today, Johnny. I am. I'm a little. I'm a little mad about that endless summer thing. But no, I, you guys did tell me last episode. I can. I can speed up the game with R1. So it shouldn't happen again. But yeah, I do recall this one as well. I just. The only big mystery oh, here is the key. Get trapped inside a locked room again. <laughs> this is the downside of letting us choose which. Another locked room. No. But if the mystery isn't solved. I won't escape this place. Yeah, yeah, we've been through this. Oh my god. Halara, what do you think? <laughs> <gasps> Trapped in a cramped room with these two. <laughs> uh, do do we smell of rain? Sounds kind of fun, actually. Uh oh. I have no intention of playing along with your fantasies. Oh. Yuma, hurry up and take care of us. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, I thought, okay. I thought I had a dirty mind, but no, Halara <laughs> called it out. It's a fantasy. <laughs> Surprise, Halara wasn't like, well. Get chopping. I call the for lead. This is where I used Talara's forte with my coalescence yeah. for the first time. But the, you know, they exited through the vent. You may now laugh. allowed us to see the crime scene as it was in the past. Some things were obviously different. Those are most suspicious. That would be... Well, hmm. We'll solve this mm. first, but the main, main takeaways are, yeah. How they placed the key in there and how they exited. And it's pretty clear that they just locked the room, put the key there, and exited out this way. And if the primary priest is slender enough... But wait, no! How could you do that? Kill a person? No, but also, like... How could you use this as a ladder to leave if there's already a corpse there? Well, you climb on the nails. There's a nail on the wall. I mean, I guess that's what we have to figure out. Here. That's the solution. <laughs> Dude. I know. What about the vent? Maybe it's not as simple as I'm making it out to be. Rarely is it. I also realized... Yeah, it's I think you figured it out in front of my I love that. His, his design is really growing on me. You believe the culprit escaped through the vent? 
trying not to make the obvious joke. I'm really yes, trying. Yes, I'm I... sure of it. When I saw the crime scene with your post-cognition, the screws on the four corners of the vent cover were removed. Which means the culprit must have escaped from there. I- Whoa! <laughs> kind of made me jump a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. And How ludicrous. How could such a silly hairdo fit through